How's it going, guys? It's Josh here, and uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to be talking uh, about this uh, Afterglow PDP headset. Pretty much, it's pretty much an unboxing and uh, review of this headset. What it comes with, what can it do, and how is it compared to the other ones? Is it compatible to any other devices? Things that night that nature. First of all, let's talk about the actual price. As you can see right here, it costs me ninety bucks, brand new. No, they don't have these used. I, I won't buy them. These are the type of stuff that uh, I would really consider about buying new. I mean, used. Excuse me. Um, you, you, I'm really picky when it comes to buying things new or used. But in in this situation, I I want what's best. So I tried it new, and I got a 30 day money back warranty. Whether it's used or not, I can get my money back. And trust me. I've been using this uh, device for like a week now, and I do not plan to give it up. Or take it back for any reason, whatsoever. First of all, let's see right here. It's a wireless headset, and it's compatible with the uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii, and the uh, Wii U, uh, PC gaming, and all mobile devices. Pretty much, uh, for example, your cell phones, your iPhones, your iPod also. And it includes also the, an audio cable for it too. Um, this is an, pretty much an awesome system. I have a Bluetooth Please, that's that's what picks up the wireless signal for the headset. But um, I have that still attached to my uh, PlayStation. Well, let's talk about the headphones itself. So this is at first it looks very uncomfortable when you got when you get actually got this band that goes over your head. And then, let me see if you can see. And you got these pieces, what allows you to stretch. At first, I was saying to myself, this looks like it's going to be very uncomfortable, but. As you put it on, this actually can stretch outward, and it fits you extremely, extremely well. And the way it was designed to do, see, it's not really a round shape. It's more of an oval shaped. That way, it can fit around your ear, because your ear, obviously, is more longer and then wider. So, it, it fits in there perfectly. And uh, right here, it has a re retractable Bluetooth piece. You can keep it in. You could keep this actually in, or you can uh, extend it out. Either way, they can still hear you. And this is where your light sensor is at. Depending on what kind of mode you have it in, I'll show you that in a few seconds. And how you want to hear the sounds. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to turn it on. So you got this button right here. It'll say mute. You just press it and hold it. And it'll turn on. And... Uh, it pretty much have this nice, beautiful glow, this nice, beautiful blue, and actually the whole frame lights up in the other side of the headset as well. And let's talk about this light. Depending on what types of sound that you want to hear, um, you just press this little mode button right here. And for example, blue. Right now, the uh, blue is pretty much pure audio. It's uh, you hear everything exactly as game designers intended you to be heard. It, the, the game intended to be heard. And then you have your, uh, if you press it here, see it turns red. Now this, this is the bass boost. This feels the action, gunfire, explosions, and crashes, just things of that nature. Pretty much like explosive games. Uh, Call of Duty, Halo, or some kind of game like that nature. That's, I'm telling you, it's very bassy, and I was amazed on how the bass is on this. And now let's talk about the other mode. The other mode is green mode. As you can see, you just press it one more time and the green mode lights up. What this is what this is called is pretty much immersive. It's pretty much a virtually surrounded sound delivering precise of direction directionality. So it pretty much gives you a 7.1 surround sound. All of them do. All all modes give you that 7.1 virtual sound, but um it depends on how you want to hear it. Blue is how this was intended you for to hear it. Sometimes I like games or movies to be more bassy, like Battleship or the Avengers movie or something like that. That gives it way more, um, way more bass. And then immersive, it sounds a lot louder, a lot more clearer. So I use that uh, on racing games, especially when you're driving in around cars and you can actually hear the cars going around your head. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And you can have this extended to talk online, or if you don't want it extended, that's fine. You can just uh, retract it in there. I'm trying to hold my phone in one hand, but it's pretty much easy. You just push it back in there. 
And uh, let's talk about some of the stuff that it came with. It comes with the uh, two of these. It's pretty much you got your your uh, your USB port. You could charge it pretty much anywhere on your PlayStation, and this attaches to the actual earpiece. And I'll show you that in a second. You got your volume up here for you know the sounds of the headset, and then you got your chat volume, which is right there. It says here uh, game mode. If you want to hear more of the game. You press it more down for the game. If you want to hear them chat, it'll lower the actual game sounds, and you can actually hear the voices of whoever you want to talk to more more clearly. And here goes your uh, Xbox line in. If you got the controller, you will hook this up to this this wire. This is well thought out, and hook up to your Xbox controller. And you have also your other wire uh, controllers. It depends on what type of TV you have. My TV is not compatible with with none of these stuff. The actual device is on my TV. What it is is like a speaker line. I got the actual Bluetooth sensor on the PlayStation, and then I have a uh, a speaker to my, on my TV, and it's hooked up to that. So pretty much my uh, outline on my TV is hooked up to it. So it's it's a wireless headset, and it also comes with some extra audio in cables, you know, video in or that nature. And it comes with the pamphlet, a little nice book. It's uh, pretty much an afterglow wireless headset user manual. It pretty much tells you what it comes with. It comes with charge and play USB cord, afterglow sticker. It comes with uh, Xbox chat controller, USB transmitter. The transmitter is actually what I have connected to the uh, see, that's a USB transmitter. That's connected to my PlayStation right now. And the other end with the cable is hooked up to my, uh, my audio on the TV. The RCA cable, the music line in cable. Yeah, it comes and it shows you. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It tells you how to hook it up and everything. That it's very, 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 very e easy to hook up. Depending on what type of TV you have, like I said, it depends on type, what type of TV you have. So um, this is it. This is my headset, and um, I do not plan to take it back. It's pretty much awesome. And let's talk about uh, real quick about the uh, the features that this have because there's a lot of headsets out there. They got the 1010 ones, I believe it is. Uh, they got the Dr. Dre's. I'm not going to spend $300 on no damn headset. So, I mean, I must be crazy if I'm going to do that. But, hey, they might be good. They might be bad. I don't know. They got the different versions. The PDX version. I'm telling you, they got a lot of versions. So, um, let's let's talk about some of the compatibilities we have right here. Obviously, the Afterglow, everything is in blue. And it gives you a chart. And it compares it to the other wireless headsets for example this is the afterglow and the results they got the turtle beach x32 it tells you about the reconnaissance the, the renaissance chamber excuse me the speaker size the range it gives you the power if it needs power it tells you about how many hours it can last it tells you the, the actual battery cost or annual cost of it mine is obviously nothing because it's rechargeable you don't need batteries for it they got it cushions. It says PU leather around the ear. And it's pretty cool. And it tells you about the other ones and how they fit you on your ear. A retractable microphone. Yes, obviously. The Turtle Beach, no. The Sony PS3 wireless, yes. And then the Triton, yeah, the Triton Premiere, it's no. Smartphone and music player compatibility. Yes, this is the only one that can actually work with a smartphone. As you can see, the Turtle Beach, no. The Sony PS3 wireless, no. And then the Triton Premiere, no. So this actual headset is acoustic, is acoustic renaissance chamber. It has, yes, speaker size is 50 millimeter. And the range is the whole house up to 100 feet around the whole house. I could walk around the whole house right now and still hear everything on the TV, not miss a thing. Every other one is only 30 feet, 30 feet, up to 30 feet. And this one's 33 feet. Though this one is by far the best range. The power is a rechargeable lithium battery. So you don't never have to get a battery for this ever. And the only one that does not other need batteries is Sony PS3 wireless one. It also has a rechargeable lithium. And the tested battery is 10 hours. You can play this pretty much for 10 hours. The Turtle Beach, 24 hours straight. The Sony PS3, 5 hours. And the Triton Premier is 23 hours. It's not, it, it's one of the, it's the second lowest, but who cares? You can recharge this thing. And I don't, I don't plan to use it for 10 hours straight. I'm going to be crazy. 
in the pack in the approximate annual cost zero dollars uh pu leather around the ear uh retractable microphone yes yeah, so, though i'm just repeating myself awesome stuff awesome 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 i don't plan to take it back and it also has a mute button all you gotta do is press this one time excuse me wrong you press this mute button you can mute all all the people who are chatting and to turn it off you just press it, it turns off so if you have any questions or anything like that just uh you can reach me at b o r i x c o n at yahoo.com